the game we have all been waiting for. Your Texas Southern Tigers taking on Prairie View A&M University. The Tigers are coming off a three and five in their conference and so is PV. Texas Southern University School of Communication hosted the TSU Talk with the Thomas Freeman's Honors College, presented by Dr. Ulassi. Could you pass the brown paper bag test? Texas Southern University students and professor had a lot to say upon the conversation of colorism. Probate season is here. Texas Southern University will be hosting the spring annual probate here at HPNE Arena on April 6, 2023. Graduation is now upon us. TSU seniors are preparing for their big day to walk across the stage and turn their tassels on May 13, 2023. There will be showers of tears and congratulations from close friends and family members. But the question remains, are these seniors ready for the real world? Are they prepared to leave the Tiger Walk? Texas Southern University partnership with the Houston Astros is the talk of the summer this year. Here's a look inside of the 2022 Corporation Perspective. One of my teachers reached out to me and said, hey, I have this great opportunity for you. And next thing you know, we met with Paula. Um, she gave us the internship, and I started June 2022, breaking a corporate partnership with the Astro. The expectations of the TSU students were high, knowing they are the first HBCU to intern with the Astro. I thought it was an honor, um, and even coming in, I I expected a lot from myself. You know, I had to work hard, but even with us being the first group, you know, I had to. Hyping the data up like 100%. Some challenges arose, but Paula Harris didn't allow them to exceed her operation for TSU. Whenever you bring on a group of new people to learn the culture of the organization, that are interns, that you need them placed, and we did it pretty fast. So if we want to talk about challenges, it was the time, the onboarding time from interview to placement to making sure that we, your needs were met or the interns' needs were met, and at the same time, the Astros' needs were met. The experience for the Astros was an experience majority of the interns needed to take in. Way more time consuming. I can say that I'm at majority of the games. I'm at the office 24-7, literally no days off. But it's an experience that like, like you can't take for granted because it's just like all the people that you meet, the fans, putting smiles on people's faces, um, the connections, everything is like so worth it. Hopefully this opportunity with the Houston Astros open doors for Texas Southern University and getting more internships with rail branded companies. Reporting from Minute Maid Park, I'm Zariah Simmons, KTSU2 News. Here at TSU, you never know what to expect. You might have a good semester or you might have a mid one. This semester was uh, a lot more hands-on. I took TV production and I'm taking After Effects. And so most of my classes were doing like uh, hands-on stuff. We're doing projects. Uh, my last semester was a lot more book work and stuff. So it's a lot more strenuous. To me, this is a lot easier because I'm a little bit more familiar with what we're working with, the like cameras and different things. So. Each TSU student has taken this semester different, and it shows by how they explain themselves. This semester for me has been a little more stressful. It is my senior year, so I'm trying to make sure that I have all the credits I need, that I have something to lean back on once I graduate. So this semester has been a little more overwhelming for me. The main concern of students this semester was the improvement of communication. It informed us a lot. I think, I, think, I think communication needs to be better with the school. A lot of things we don't find out about till last minute, and a lot of people don't find out till last minute, so we don't get, a lot of people don't show up to these events because they don't hear about them until last minute. This is um, ironic for the School of Communications, but I feel like better communications because I feel like there was a lot of opportunities that I passed up because it I wasn't notified on time. <laughs> Student perspectives are what keep this campus thriving. I'm Zariah Simmons, reporting on the campus of Texas Southern University, KTSU2 News. The Texas Southern Tigers will be taken on JSU, a game the city has been waiting upon. 
Uh, and I think the story uh, of the game lies within the third downs. Offensively, we didn't stay on the field on third downs. We didn't win on third downs on defense. We, we didn't get off the field on third downs. And so when you don't win on third downs, you make it uh, hard for yourself to have a chance to win the game. The main focus for Andrew Body was to not live in the play and keep moving forward to the next. Um, I'll say we did have some, but you're going you gonna to have some hits and you're going to have some misses, so you can't really just get too caught up in that. You just got to flush and get on to the next play. Body didn't show any lack of confidence, stating what possibly the team could have done to take home the victory over JSU. Well, we always emphasize that once we get the first down, the first first down, that we're a real dangerous offense. So really, once we develop getting that first first down and we got our tempo going, we, we're reckon to be forced with. So I feel like that's going in any game. We just got to be consistent as far as on that and really convert on third down. Although some calls were not called correctly, Coach McKinney held his stand on not speaking about any that was made. You're not going to get me to talk about it because uh, you can say what you want to say about it and let that be it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying anything about the officials. Unfortunately, the Tigers fell short. The final score was 41-14, to 14, leaving the TSU Tigers to battle for second place in the SWAC division. Reporting from PNC Stadium, I'm Zariah Simmons, KTSU2 News.